This is episode 341 and today I will share a few of my thoughts about the recent shift of the podcast towards a spiritual direction. So keep listening to find out what has been happening. Uh, Before I do that, I'd like to read two wonderful reviews that uh, listeners have left on Apple Podcasts and I will remind you here that Following the show and leaving a review is one of the best ways you can support Personal Development Mastery. And if you leave a review, I'm going to read it out here and thank you personally. So the first review today is from Unicorn Larlar, who says, Great show. Aggie is a wonderful host who asks thought-provoking questions that help dive deep into the topic. I highly recommend it. Uh, Thank you, Unicorn, for this uh, review. I appreciate it. Uh, And great nickname, uh, by the way. Um, And the second review today is titled Eye Opening, and it is by C. Fredo. And it says, Aggie is such a great and interesting host. The way he communicates and asks questions to his guests shows that he is really curious and will ask questions to truly understand the topic. So far, my favorite episode is the work-life balance. Awesome work. Sifredo, thank you very much for your uh, review. So if you want to hear me thanking you on the show, leave a review on uh, Apple Podcasts and I will read it in one of the following episodes. And as a preface here, or reminder, depending, a few weeks ago at the beginning of this month, October 2023, the podcast had some uh, monumental uh, changes. Not only has it gone to two episodes a week, but we have also shifted to a more spiritual uh, direction and topics. If you want to hear the story behind this um, evolution of the podcast, uh, tune in to episode 335. And one path that I want to explore with this uh, new focus is the intersection of spirituality and personal development. There are distinct differences but also exact similarities between these two and as my podcast's promise to you is, it's about providing you transformative insights for personal growth And in this case, insights about spirituality. So, the last three weeks, I've had the first episodes of the podcast's uh, new direction. And each of these episodes, these conversations, has its own unique qualities and insights contained. And I appreciate the fact that not all topics are for everyone. And that's absolutely fine. Uh, One will be attuned with the episodes that resonate anyway. And so, in the first out of the three episodes uh, since the shift, we discussed meditation with my guest Tom Cronin. And meditation, for me, is the cornerstone, the foundation of spiritual development. And I definitely recommend you listen to that episode. It's one of the most important uh, conversations I have published. Then in the second episode we explored how our career challenges can be a catalyst for spiritual awakening with my guest Rebecca Kirk and if you are at career crossroads you don't want to miss this episode. And then the third episode, which is this Monday's episode, I discussed with my guest Rose Place how to communicate with and receive guidance from your guardian angel. So I believe this particular episode requires some further discussion. First of all, it has a title which is... um, 
quite a bit different from the previous 339 episodes I've done uh, in the podcast. I'm looking at some of the previous titles now and I see things like uh, how to become fearless, uh, deconstruct the narratives in your head, boost your confidence, universal laws for financial abundance, things like that. But communicate with and receive guidance from your guardian angel that is different Uh, some people might even call it out there or woo -woo. so I am aware of that Uh, a friend of mine today said that I am brave to put an episode with this title out there and and I remember Rose my guest thanking me for taking a risk on her as she said And here's the thing, for me it's not about bravery or taking a risk. I follow the calling, the inspired idea, that which wants to be created through me and I do it. And I'm saying through me rather than by me because that's how it feels, sometimes anyway. So I believe there are people looking for this knowledge and are ready to receive it. And in this case, I am sharing a message, a voice that it's important. It is heartwarming. It is hopeful. It's not for everyone, I understand, and I agree. But it is exactly for you if you resonate with it at some level, even at a level of pure curiosity. And so this was an overview or a reflection of the first three weeks since the shift of personal development mastery to a new direction. And for the foreseeable future at least, the theme of the podcast will remain of this uh, spiritual nature. Uh, I will keep this episode short today and before I conclude, let me remind you This is about you. And that's why I want to hear your thoughts and how you feel about this shift in the podcast. So I'm giving an open invitation to you listening right now. I invite you to find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and direct message me. And we can chat about anything you want. You can tell me if you enjoy the new direction of the podcast uh, or who your favorite guest has been so far or who is someone uh, someone I, I should interview next or anything else you want to discuss about the podcast and how it can serve you. So this is an open invitation to you. Send me a message and I'm looking forward to it. And the last thing I will mention today is uh, something that I'm often asked, and that is in what ways someone can work with me. So there are two main services that I offer. The first is one-to-one mentoring, mindset, personal development, confidence, finding your voice, public speaking, and so on. The second service I offer is for you if you are intrigued about creating, growing and monetizing a high quality, impactful podcast. You will find more information about my services on my website. Thank you for listening and until next time, stand out, don't fit in, 